We want to talk weather now and get right to Sam to talk about this impending storm. Sam, you've been talking about this for a number of days, updating us constantly, and now is today's the day to kind of prepare. Yeah, absolutely. Today is the day that we're really starting to nail down and hone in on the forecast details, and that's really important as we head into the next couple of hours here because the track of this low pressure system is going to bring stark differences to different areas when it comes to snowfall totals, and this scene behind me is certainly going to change by tomorrow morning being snow coated. Now, right now, your 13 on your side weather ball is currently blinking red. We have warmer temperatures ahead, but we also have both rain and snow in sight. And this is sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Yeah, really unusual for it to be February 1st and for me to be saying that there is rain in sight. Typically, our average high temperature for this time of year is about 31 degrees. That is not the case today. We are already sitting at 41 degrees for your lunchtime hour currently in Grand Rapids, 44 degrees in Holland. Now this comes as winds are directly out of the south and dragging up that warm and moist air. With this southerly breeze, we're going to continue to fuel our temperatures all the way to about 42 degrees for your afternoon high. But it will be a very short lived warm up and we'll see a quick snap right back to snowfall as we see a shift in our wind direction from where they're at right now out of the south to the north, where we'll then drag down that cool Canadian air. Now, current look at our satellite and radar here. You can see those thicker clouds really beginning to develop. That's a sign that we're pulling in that moisture into our forecast. That is what's going to fuel the heavy snow showers that we're going to see overnight tonight and into tomorrow. As of right now, we're just seeing that little bit of development of some light rain showers. We'll continue to see light rain, but the broader picture is this strengthening low pressure system off to the north and west of us. Once we see this warm front officially track off to the east of us, we'll follow up with a cold front, switching our wind direction and dragging down that cool Canadian air. That's going to drag right over this moisture rich environment. When that happens, we're going to see these winter storms begin to develop. So as of right now, we have winter alerts stretching all the way from I-96 and southward. You can see that winter weather advisory goes into effect starting at 2 a.m. and will last until 11 p.m. on your Thursday. We even have winter storm warnings that are going to go into effect. We have not seen winter storm warnings in quite some time. So let's play throughout your hour by hour forecast so that you can prepare. First, we're starting off with those rain showers, picking up an in intensity some during your evening commute tonight. So make sure that you have the umbrella on hand. Then we'll see that shift in the wind direction out of the northwest, pulling down that cold Canadian air. When we pull down that air, we're going to switch over to snowfall. Again, it will be intense at times, and the snow is going to continue over several days here in West Michigan, both Wednesday and Thursday. As it does so, it's going to bring some pretty impressive snowfall totals. But one thing to keep in mind is that there's going to be a stark line when it comes to these snowfall totals. You can see right here along I-96, Holland stretching all the way through Greenville is going to see impressive differences when it comes to these snowfall totals. This is your morning commute already seeing about an inch along I-94. By the time we hit your lunchtime hour, we've already reached eight inches of snowfall. That is the areas where we see those winter storm warnings remaining in effect. Here in Grand Rapids, we're going to be at about three inches by the time we hit your lunchtime hour tomorrow, and it just keeps on going. So yes, this is going to be a pretty impressive snowfall event here in West Michigan. When it comes to winter impacts, plowable snow, absolutely. We're also going to see some travel impacts, very high travel impacts on our main roadways. Temperature wise though, we're not too worried. Wind chills are going to remain well above freezing point. We're going to be right around the 30s overnight tonight and into tomorrow. The rest of your 13 on your side, 10 day forecast. Showing off that drop in temperatures with colder air sinking into the forecast region. Again, this winter weather event is going to wrap up by your Thursday. Then by the time we hit early Friday, we're settling into much sunnier conditions. Temperatures will eventually return back towards seasonable averages for the latter half of the 10 day period. But now's the time if you are located along and south of I-96 that we need to start preparing for this heavy snowfall event that's going to work throughout West Michigan. And of course, making sure that we check on our friends and neighbors and see who might need a friendly hand when it comes to shoveling and snow plowing.